Aquarius, this is your October 1st to October 15th, 2016 read. For the main read, I'm using the Vision Quest Tarot by Diane S. Winter and Joe Dozy. Dozy is spelled D-O-S-E with an accent mark at the end. And for the advice cards, I'm using the Romance Angels Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Decks have been pre-shuffled. Let's get right into it. For the overall energy, I'm getting the Medicine Woman, which I feel really good about. And, okay, we're good. I'm getting kind of like, it's very interesting. I'm getting kind of like this bird feeling, uh, like uh, a condor feeling. I'm getting a very strong, like, I guess this is a condor. Maybe that's what I'm feeling. Um, for the overall energy for this time, I definitely get communication is a strong suit for you, but I don't think that's a shock anyway. Um... I'm feeling like you're getting into something. I almost feel like you're pulling in resources at this time. And you're using things to their best of their ability. I feel like it's kind of like there's a lot of activity mentally in this time and you're getting a lot of divine thought and you're pulling things in, pulling resources in for things you've got to do. Very interested to know. Actually, let's pop out some advice cards. Okay. So it's very interesting. As we go into this time frame, we have the Daughter of Fire, which means this is action. It's We're in the Libra time frame for, for this uh, reading, of course, um, depending on when you actually watch this and it's a, effective for you. But I'm feeling like for Aquarians, if you're in... You're an air sign, and you're going through an air sign. I feel like you're very much communicative at this point, uh, more than usual. But there might be a cooperative or an appeasing flair going on at this time. And I feel like working with people, working copacetically, I feel like um, being a support player that keeps the fires burning, that type of thing. I feel like a lot of strength in keeping people going. Uh, and I feel like you have this... Um, I know it says insight with this aid of fire, but I'm feeling like this burst of energy, just like you have a lot of excitement about what you're doing and where you're going. Um, we go back into like the father of air, which it doesn't matter what gender you are. This card is basically means to me, uh, taking analytical thought and communicating that and getting things in order and getting that, um, saying what needs to be said, definitely saying what needs to be said. Very interesting. Very interesting. Because we have some environmental things. Below your Daughter of Fire and this Eight of Fire, which I'm feeling like this is a lot of energy and you moving things forward, you getting things done. I feel like you're a part of it and you're getting things, like you're getting things going. You're getting things going. Below that in the environment, This is kind of saying, like, um, it's almost like self-respect, like, have that dignity, show that dignity, show that leadership that you have, and be careful what you say, um, because I almost feel like the people that you really don't care for that much have more weight to the situation than they, than might be perceived, 
I'm feeling like this is just saying be careful about people around that you don't really care for that much. Just um, have strength in yourself and realize that you don't need to really voice too much to, to be the strength of that. Uh, concentrating your energy on the task at hand is where you're really shining at this point. And to continue with that is where it's best to keep going. I really feel like these cards are coupled together too. As we go forward, it's very interesting because I feel like there's a, there's a little change. I'm getting change with this, uh, with this small medicine wheel. Sometimes it's good luck, sometimes it's other things. For me, I'm getting it's like a little change to the plan, but things going well. This is interesting because I feel like when this happens, this, ha this happens, a little change or something happens and things are going well. And I feel like that's kind of when you say something, because I feel like it's not the direction you're thinking. This is kind of, you're, this happens, then you say something, is what I'm feeling. And I don't feel like it's negative, but I feel like, um, whatever is going on, like, the change happens. The change does happen. And I, I just feel like you have to be careful what you're saying at this point. I feel like saying, being careful what you say is a big thing. Because um, we have integrity, but we have red flags below it. And I almost feel like people might scrutinize you a little bit based on what you say. Which is, I, I almost feel like that's unfair. Because I don't feel like it, I don't feel like it's really that bad, that whatever you say. I'm like, I have this weird feeling like whatever you say isn't really that bad. But... Some people, like the people around that you may have voiced that you really don't care for, I feel like they may, you know, fluff it up like it's more than it actually is. I feel like that's what we have to be careful, careful of going into this time frame, and I think that's where that's coming from. Um, the change that happens, I feel like it's supposed to happen. The medicine wheel, the small medicine wheel in this deck is a major arcana. When it says worth waiting for, I'm getting that it's like, whatever it is, like if, if, if something you wanted to do is put to the back burner or it's just not turning out exactly what you thought it would, like it's not against what's supposed to happen. It's still going the direction it's supposed to be going. So everything is fine, and I think that's a big piece. I feel like that might be why you're kind of like voicing your opinion, because you're afraid that things aren't going to work out, or things are going to halt, or completely stop, or go a completely different direction, and you don't think it's right. I feel like that's why you voice your opinion, but things are still on. Um, the Nine of Air, I feel like when you get closer to the 15th, it's just interesting, because... I feel like you're aggravated more than anything else. And I feel like you're just really annoyed with the situation. This card does say hurt. That does say hurt right there. But I'm feeling more aggravated. Like, just kind of like... Hurt would fit. I mean, but it's more like... You know what you said, and you're just like... You feel like it was kind of taken and twisted, and it wasn't right. How it was, like, traded off to other people. Um... Let's do one more card. Hmm. Okay. So, I feel like um, being careful what you say is very important because I feel like you might just want to pull out of the whole situation. That's kind of what I'm feeling. As you get closer to the 15th, you might want to pull right out of whatever the situation you're a part of. In the, in the beginning part, you're gung-ho, ready to go, let's do it. If something changes on the outside and you kind of, you don't like it and you voice your opinion and it kind of backfires and I feel like whatever happens whether it's a confrontation and people start arguing or if it's just kind of like people talking and talk getting back to you it's gonna make you want to step right out of it um, and that's with this unrequited love I feel like that's more how you're feeling I feel like this is more how you're feeling because this actually is coming up right in your line almost which makes me feel like it's not really advice. It's more like how you're feeling closer to the 15th. So let's let's look this again. Look this over again, excuse me. The overall situation, you're feeling good about it. You're getting involved. You're pulling in resources, doing what you need to get done. 
<clears throat> you're very much a strength. I feel like you, you, I feel like you really have a lot of passion for this situation, and you're getting right into it and going right for it. And the people or the situation, it's flourishing because of that, which is great. This card again, the love yourself first. I really feel like you got to be careful more of the people around you. There, I feel like there's a couple people, like two, for most cases. And granted, it's a general read, so it's going to have to go based on your life that you don't really care for, and you might make that apparent. Be careful of that. That's where I feel like that's going to come back later to haunt you. Not that it's not warranted. Not at all that it's not. I mean, I can't really say it is or isn't because I'm not. I'm just getting the advice is be careful what you say. Be careful how you react to people because it's it's going to come back around. It's going to come back around. Um, as you go forward, there's going to be a change. A change that's meant to happen. It's not that big, but it could be perceived to you like it's a big one. It's a good change, but I feel like it's kind of like making you nervous or makes you feel like things aren't going the way they should be going, and you voice your opinion. At that point, that's where things can go a little wonky. I feel like the people around you are going to have integrity and say what they need to say. Um, three of Fire is here, which integrity does pop on there. I feel like, though, that when you see these three purple sticks, well, I can't remember what that plant's called off the top of my head. Actually, I'm not even sure. I was going to call it the Indian paintbrush, but I don't think that's what it is, actually. Either way, when I see the purple and these bound together, it makes me feel like it's divine-inspired. Like, people are standing strong together about where they want to go with this situation. And there's a lot of support between each other to stay on the path, the new path they've decided on. The red flags... The red flags may be just for you to know that they've decided. Like, they've already decided they're taking this path. Um, definitely voicing your concerns. I feel like that's not really an option. I feel like you're going to do that. I feel like you're going to do that, which is not bad. You need to communicate. If people don't communicate, how would people know? You know, how would people grow? But be careful how you say things or what you say. Um, because I feel especially from the people, if you voiced or gave hints quite blunt hints, it's what I'm kind of getting, about how you felt about a couple people that you really don't care for, that's coming back around, it's going to haunt you, it really is. Um, I do feel like that's going to come back either in a direct confrontation or uh, things coming back to you from other people, and it's going to hurt your feelings and make you want to step out of the situation. It's going to make you want to just get out of it completely. It's like a complete 180 turn from wanting to get involved and get things going and being very passionate to just wanting to step out and being done. <sighs> being the reader I am, I would love to find more and give more information to see if there's like a happy ending in some sort or at least some type of good thing, but I'm noticing when I'm pulling out cards, we're just getting more information of the same. The major advice for this time is just be careful what you say. That passion is good. You're really important to this situation and it's a great thing. I would just be careful about a couple people, like, I feel like you're going to voice your opinion or say something, or maybe just give, like, a dirty look in some sort. Just, I feel like you're going to make it apparent that there's a couple people you don't care for. And it's funny, because in some cases, you may not even say it directly to that person or people that are involved, but there's people in earshot or that you're talking to that actually care for those people and actually do like the people that you don't, and that might be how it rebounds as well. Um, so be careful. I just feel like there's a very strong chance of you voicing or saying something or giving some type of look about a person or people that you don't care for and it coming back to haunt you. That's what I'm really getting. At the end, of, at, as we get to the 15th, um, I feel like if you if you're able to squelch that and just remember that things are going the way they need to go, I feel like you may. I think I feel like one way or another, you're, you're going to kind of take a break from the situation. But it may be easier to handle if you just kind of like are careful.
Thanks. You have a good day.